YouTube and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be playing some Satisfactory. So if you guys don't know what Satisfactory is, it's a really cool game where you build up your own factory and yeah, you just build up your factory, have to get more resources and it's really fun. So it looks like first of all we have to get rid of our pod that we just All came down from the sky and, and communication is recorded and, and it looks the like codex, the audio is not very high at the moment so i'm just going to turn up the master volume so you guys can be able to hear the game quite good well quite well I'll turn that up all right so it looks like if we open up this and we go into buildings. Ah, we have the hub. A heart of your factory. This is where you complete fix it milestones to unlock additional blueprints of buildings, vehicles, parts, equipment, and etc. Hmm. I think so that's like the base. Second objective. Place. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Zeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. This is Zeno Zapper, so it looks no. like we have huh. According to fix it regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Oh, wow. That looks cool. Alright, so. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Okay, Note, looks... the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay, so it looks like Edda, I think she's called, is a very, is a big chatterbox, so I might be getting interrupted when I talk. So I think this like flat area looks like a good place to be able to start with building. Oh wow, look at all those cliffs. Is that pyramids? No. Oh wow, that looks like a stingray, but a flying one. Alright, so, um, if we press V, or wait, no, hold down the iron ore. Oh yes, it looks like some down there. Um, some down there. I think I want to go for this one down over here. Alright, I think we should build our base over there. I think that'll probably be best. Near the um, iron ore. Alright, so let's go collect this iron ore. Alrighty. I'm quite worried, I don't want to get attacked by any crazy aliens. Well, it looks like this iron ore is pure, so I wonder if this gives us more. Alright, looks like this is quite a bit of iron ore. Fourth objective build the hub. Okay. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the what presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. This thing is scary. Oh man, I don't know if that thing is gonna hurt me or not. It looks scary. Look at its teeth, although that's not very sharp teeth. What's this? Alien carcass, but it's right there. Okay. Alright, so I guess we should probably build the hub. I don't want to build it up there because I think that's where like monsters spawn, so I don't want my base getting filled up with monsters all the time. Alright, how about over here? And it looks like, what are these nuts? Collected some earlier. Berry nuts. What are these? Can be eaten. Hmm. Looks quite good. Alright, so I guess we'll build a base near the food supply, I guess. So, um, Q. And here's the hub. So, um, oh. I'm, whoops, I'm gonna build it on myself. Whoops. Alright, uh, let's place it there. Alrighty, so. Alright, uh, what's this? Crafting bench. Oh, look that iron. Congratulations, Craft you have unlocked. Stuff. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub right. feature, hub terminal. Let's craft Fifth up objective, this complete hub upgrade one. Ingot. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. 
All right, so let's craft up this um, iron ingots. I don't think we'll really be needing any iron ore. I don't think. Oh wow, the thing near the hammer got all red in there. I wonder if that's like bad or just like some extra detail. What's this? Tears. Oh, so we need iron rods and then we get an equipment workshop, a portable miner. So I guess we mine things faster with that. Oh, and some extra inventory slots. How many inventory slots do we have? Not that many. Right, so we need some iron rods. How many did it say? We need a upgrade one, 10 iron rods. Shouldn't be too much. So let's get up 10. Alright, cool, we got 10 iron rods. So you, so you, select this milestone. And upgrade hub. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got a storage box. Oh, I guess we can store stuff in here. Maybe this alien carcass. Hmm. Oh, and it looks like we also got like a slip Congratulations, box. you have unlocked building workshop. Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to, note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single okay. node. So I guess that's quite good, so, um, production I guess, uh, that's the equipment shop. So, what do we use for the portable miner? No. Alright, I think we craft an equipment shop. So, we need some iron rods and some iron plates. So, three iron plates, I think it was. Oops, that's cool. And I'll get ten iron rods. Alright, oops, that was eleven. So, um, oh, it was six of these. Oh, looks like we've run out. I'll just craft one more of this. Um, where's that iron? I'm just going to, whoops, strong button. Uh, V? Where was it? Oh, it's up here. Alright, don't want to lose our source of iron. So is iron, I wonder, the only source of, um, material for crafting? It can't be. Cause like you've got to craft like heaps of stuff like electricity in that, so I don't think it is. Let's mine up this and sign all cool. So we need some more iron plates. We need about two more. All right, let's head down here. What's this for? Gives us leaves, flower petal, and wood. I wonder whether that's going to be useful later on. But I wonder if we can go out and chop down trees if we can. That would be useful. Alright, so iron ingots. Because then if there's too many trees in the way, then we won't be able to build our factory. Maybe we could create like some like, what's the thing called again? Some like inside farms. I wonder if we can get farms in this game. That will be quite good. Alright, so let's get two of these, but only one, right, and now, oh wait, no, we can't, can we upgrade this again? Uh, yes we can, oh, we get a smelter, and copper, ah, power line, copper ingot, wire, and cable, hmm, alright, so let's craft up a workbench, uh, where should we put this? Let's put it somewhere close by to our hub, so you can easily access it. Alright, so there. That should be good. Yep, alright, so in here, I'm guessing, yep, portable miner. What do we need for a zero zapper? Oh, that is expensive, so we don't want to lose our zero zapper. So we need some iron plates, right? Let's craft up some more iron plates. Let's get four of them. Should be enough. Yep. Alrighty, let's craft up this. Oops. 
just want one at the moment. So let's head back up. I think it's up here. I mean, I keep forgetting where, I put, where the iron ore thing is. Alright, so here we go. So I presume that we, um, wait, no, that's not my inventory. Let's open up this. Okay. So, um, we place you on the ground. What does it do? Oh, are those like lights? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, oh, it's getting us some iron now. Cool. So it gives us an iron, I think, every second. So, one up. But look, it goes up. That's cool. So, I guess it's like a base miner. Alrighty, so how much, um, iron do we have? Oh, we still got 11. I guess we can grab this one. That it's really cool. So, the ores in that, I think it's for all the ores. They stack up to like 100 per stack. So, yeah. But other things like um, screws that we might be able to get later on. You can be able to stack up to about like 500. And that's it stack. So, yeah. I wonder if you can make it so you can stack on forever. Right, so, um, iron rods. So we need about 16 iron rods and 8 iron plates. So 16 of these. Oh, I don't think we can get enough. So let's craft up all these. Yep, not enough. So we just need 5 more now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cool. Right, 20, and now we need, I think it was like a few iron plates, I think it was 5 or 10, I'll just check, uh, 10 iron plates, alright, so it looks like we can only get 4, so I guess we'll have to go get, um, what's it called, some more iron out of our iron, well, not iron, sorry, portable miner, up here, the detail in this game, is so nice, what is that thing up there, some sort of like egg, I'm scared if I'm gonna go, if I go up to it, and then if I steal it, it's one of those like giant bird rays, I don't think it's a bird, but one of those creatures up there, probably gonna come attack me. So I want my Xeno Zapper out because I don't know if any random or scary charging animals like that one I saw before is going to come at me. Oops, I don't want to go down there. That looks dangerous. I wonder if we can get a, like, get, um, like, some sort of armor suit to protect us from it. Because it looks like we wear armor at the moment. But are we wearing armor? I think this is, like, some sort of protection suit. And then we put this protection suit on our protection suit. I don't know. Alright, so let's craft up hmm, a bit more iron plates. Alright, cool. We just need, I think. Oh, yeah, we've got enough. I think. Nope. One more. Alright, and now we can. Alright, it looks like it gives us two, because there's a two there, and this one only has a one. Alright, so... Here. And... Unlock Milestone. Now, guys, I have played this game before. I've got my own, like, little experimenting world where I'm playing this game. Congratulations, yes, so you have unlocked else. hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, what? new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Oh, we got a power Seventh line. objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Okay, Advice. So Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. So it looks like we um have got a biomass burner. Oh, it looks like we burn the stuff that we get from the um, plants in there. So I guess we've got to go and get some, what's it called? 
some leaves. So with some bushes. Uh, here, some. I think I'll probably um, cook some leaves because these things give us mostly like leaves and not much other stuff. Let's grab up all this stuff. Also some more fruit. Grab all these bushes. So I think, because I know that you can get a chainsaw in this game, so we'll probably end up using it to cut down the trees and be able to get more. I think we would in the trees, but I don't know. Right, so, how much do we have? 200! Wow. That's a lot. Okay, let's put you in there. Oh, is it already using it? Okay, cool. So, so um, what do we need for our smelter? We need iron rods and that stuff. Well, wire. So let's um, scan copper. Um, 200 meters. 400, 300. I guess we'll go for the 200. Maybe. Hopefully it's not in the... Oh, Alright, it's not. Alright, let's head up here, grab some plants and that. For our biomass burner. Oh look, there's our little job. Oh yep, still working hard. Oh wait, where did it go? I think it's somewhere up here. Ah here. Not too far away from our iron mine. So let's come down here. Looks like it's just up there. Oh, I wonder, I think that there is one of those charging guys. So, where is he? Got to get rid of him. Hmm, don't think there is one, maybe. That's pretty good. Is that one down there? No, it's not. Looks like some other sort of metal. Alrighty, let's get up some of this copper. Mm -mm. Alrighty, cool. So let's head down here. My goal for today's video is to be able to get a furnace and be able to start cooking up some iron. Yeah. So I wonder if we can get miners. Yeah, I think we can get some miners. So what do we need for a smelter? Um, we need iron rods and coil. Do we have any? Iron, yes we do, cool. And we need some coil. Wait, is it coil or wire? I think it's like wire. What do we need for this? Power lines. Ah, oh, we're missing cable. Gotta craft up quite a few stuff. Oh, wait, no, sorry, we don't want to reach it. Oh, look, guys, see? This one gives you screws and power poles and limestone skin. Ah, yes, constructors. And iron plates. But that's a bit expensive. I think we might try and get level three, maybe in another video. But let's first try and get our. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's the wire. So we want to get some of this wire here. How much was it again? I'll just craft up all that wire and craft up our iron ingots. So I think with the so with the crafters they create all the stuff for you so you don't actually have to like sit here for hours just crafting it all because yeah it gets tiring just sitting there just holding down the left mouse button gets them on right let's get all that right and we should be able to make a smelter yep we can cool alrighty so let's put our smelter right here because you guys you do get conveyor belts in this game and conveyor belts are super cool in this game because you don't have to carry everything and you can over time get faster and faster ones so yeah uh, iron ingots and now we want to connect them up to something so let's go ahead and craft up some cables also I need some more wires so you need wire and then use the wire to create a cable so yeah so it looks like we can craft 10 of it because it shows it up there in the brackets and to craft up some more of this because we need this wire stuff for the furnace. Let's keep two up. 
and throw you in there. And it should, when I come back, have us heaps of iron. Ingots, sorry, not iron. Because <laughs> if you say iron, then they don't really know what you mean. So, I think we'll have to be getting rid of these little portable miner guys. I'll get a portable miner guy eventually for the copper mine thing so then we can be able to collect it because as you guys can see it stacks up to 100 that's same with copper and i think the concrete yeah i think the concrete so wait that just turned from green to yellow oh i think it means like it doesn't have enough yet yeah, now it turns back to green so cool we got all this stuff so now we just need another smelter and then we'll see but then we still have to do lots running around and can we reach this level? I don't feel we can today. But let's try. Alright, we've got to try and get three levels of the, um, what are they called? Yes, we can get it. Alright guys, we're going to get our first, well not really tier, but I think it's like milestone. But no, I think it's tiers. Is it tiers? No, hub upgrade. So we can get our third hub upgrade a bit of it soon. So now we need 10 more iron rods. So let's craft up some more of these. I don't want to go too much because we might not have enough for anything else. And we still need 20 iron plates. Can we make that? No, we cannot. So we need to come over here. Get some more of that. Come back over here. And yes, we can get more than 10 actually so let's grab all this cool we got 10 oh wait no sorry it's 20 all right so we need our 20 and here we go we're gonna get our third hub upgrade and ba -dum. that's cool it goes all yellowy what do we have in here again oh yeah so um yeah. oh so Congratulations, you have unlocked scanner oh, feature, limestone, yes. new buildings and recipes which Ooh, can be found in the laptops, build menu and craft monitors, bench respectively. Yep. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade 4. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay, so I guess that wraps up today's video and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first, well maybe first, episode of, um, Satisfactory, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It was released just the other day. So yep, yeah, if you guys can download it, then awesome, because this game is awesome as. So yeah, I'll be making some more videos very shortly, and I'll see you then. Bye!